of a lynching were involved in this this murder you might as well say he was strangled which is the way they like to kill black people because 
there's their dominance. They're, they're, they're portraying their dominance over us. They want a crowd here. They have people to keep anybody who would like to stop the lynching from, you know, they intervene. They had cops to do that. So I think we should consider what happened to George Floyd was a lynching by the Minnesota people. Definitely a lynching by the Minnesota people. That's why you protect yourself. Yeah. 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 And protect yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah and protect each other. I know it shouldn't be like this, but we're adults here, we're here. We saw a little boy standing on a balcony as we came, and I said, man, we can't have that little black boy grow up and be thrown in handcuffs, thrown on the ground, knee on their neck. We can't have that, we have to change it. And that might mean some sacrifice. That's what it takes, sacrifice. You might lose a job, you might lose a home, you might lose your life. But we will gain freedom. We will gain liberty and justice for all. That's what the promise of this nation is. Now we know the reality, right? We know five, five drafters drafted the Declaration of Independence. Three of them held slaves at the time they said all men are created equal. So at the foundation of this nation, black people are less than human. Because all humans at the foundation of this nation were free with rights endowed by the creator. We must change that. We have to get to the root. We have to dig it up and change that. That's what we have to do. What it's gonna take, I as a black man cannot look at the American flag that my people were enslaved under and pledge allegiance to it. I just cannot. No disrespect. I can't do that. I can't, I, I can't see the story.